Hello, what is up everyone? It is Truth Reviews here. I hope you have had a fantastic week. Without further ado, we will be getting straight into the video. However, just before then, I am uh, trying to reach, by the end of May, 600 subscribers. Um, if you haven't seen any of my other content, I'd recommend checking it out. I post twice a week, and um, yeah, just check it out in your meantime. So a subscribe would also be very much appreciated. Um, a comment and a like would also be appreciated, and uh, if you didn't like the video, tell me why, or uh, if you want to see videos on different things, uh, let me know too. Alright, thank you very much guys, and uh, enjoy the video. So, recently I've been seeing a lot of talk about a Star Wars Battlefront 3, and a lot of people referring back to EA's Star Wars Battlefront 2, and how uh, good that game was. Yeah, because, because that game was really good on launch, guys, you know, I, remember, you know, the, the, the pay to win and the, the loot boxes, the, you know, it, you know the, the, the how big the problem with loot boxes, it, it actually went to court and pretty much everyone, every other game since have sort of said that loot boxes is the definition of a bad sign of a game uh, doing bad, yeah, yeah I, I remember that game, yeah. Uh, I, I don't mean to sound so sour, but I was one of the first people, I, I remember playing Star Wars Battlefront 2 for a while, thinking it was the best game ever, and then realising how pay to win and how um, pretty much money grabby the entire game was. So, to revisit it a couple or three years later and find out that it was actually really fun, they had fixed a lot of the issues, they had added in new heroes and villains, um, the game modes and game types were very fun, um, I actually thought it was um, quite refreshing, if I'm honest with you, um, quite good. Uh, so, it was quite nice to see that. And I see a lot of fans wishing that Star Wars Battlefront 2 kept getting updated and they're calling for Star Wars Battlefront 3. So, what do I think about this? What do, what's my thoughts on a Star Wars Battlefront 3? Well, if you're here for just the quick version, uh, to put it simply, I think a Star Wars Battlefront 3 would be sick. Um, I think Star Wars Battlefront 2, uh, both the original Star Wars Battlefront 2 made by P Pandemic Games, uh, and the newer Star Wars Battlefront 2 uh, made by EA, were lead-ups to something much bigger. But before we really talk about my thoughts on a new Star Wars Battlefront and what I think should be put into it to make it not a flop and make it quite good, let's talk about the original Star Wars games. And by the original Star Wars games, I mean the original, original Star Wars game. The first ever Battlefront we got was released in 2004 and was made by Pandemic Studios. The game was not hugely big and it lacked a lot of features, however I would say it was a pretty fun game. And if anything it seemed like one big tech demo or one big trial. To see if they could pull something like it off again in a newer or better or bigger Star Wars Battlefront. And just the following year, Pandemic Studios would release Star Wars Battlefront 2, the original, anyway. In 2005, this game would go hard. Uh, it would be incredibly unbalanced, I won't lie, uh, just like the newer Star Wars Battlefront 2s. Um, and playing it on replays, especially now, you can definitely tell how aged the game is. I mean, some games, uh, for example, take the Arkham games, uh, Arkham Asylum especially, uh, 2008, you can't really feel the clunkiness at all. It feels very fluid, it feels very nice. Yeah, no, no, no. Uh, the original Star Wars Battlefront, you can, f or the uh, Star Wars Battlefront 2, you can feel that shit. I mean, you can feel it hard. I I've, I've, um, I've been playing it a lot, um, or I have played it a lot, and uh, yeah, you, you can feel how clunky it, it has got. However, it does not stop it from being extremely fun um, to play, and uh, for the time, it, it was very fun to play. But, if you want an in-depth review on the original Star Wars Battlefront games, go check out the Ackman, he done a fantastic showcase of Star Wars Battlefront 2, the original, and how good that game was on release. In fact, it was so good, it led me to buy it. And when I buyed it, when I buyed it, when I buy Biden, Joe Biden, no <laughs> way. When I bought it, I should say, when I bought, when I bought it, oh my gosh, when I bought the game, yes, uh, wow, that, that, yeah, that's literally me. When I bought the game, I was thoroughly, thoroughly pleased with one mode especially. The mode in, entailed this, you had two ships, uh, and it was the Clone Wars mode, so, um, you played as the clones, or you played as the droids. Now, the job was to destroy or defend your ship. This was badass. I'm talking you could full-on defend your ship. You could fly out and engage in space and aerial combat in the stars. You could uh, stay on your ship and defend it. You could go to other people's ships and attack it. It would be gosh darn sick. 
Uh, it, it, it just would. It, it would be too cool um, to have something like that in a newer Star Wars Battlefront. And I was praying that they would do it in the new one in Star Wars Battlefront 2, but they didn't. So Star Wars Battlefront 2, which should have led to the most epic Star Wars Battlefront 3, never did. They stopped there. Until recently. After Lucasfilms eventually uh, crashed uh, and and burned, sadly, uh, we're along with a lot of their unfinished products, such as Star Wars Battlefront 3, uh, sadly, RIP, um, and many other Star Wars uh, products and games that were in development, uh, the rights were passed over to EA and DICE, um, the same people who made Battlefield. Um, you would expect that would be a very good thing. Imagine more more destructible environments, a bigger scope on, on fighting, um, in reality, when Star Wars Battlefront 1, the re-release, came out, uh, it would be a pretty big tragedy. Um, the hero system worked awfully, the game had nothing there, there was no campaign, there was no story, half the modes were just missing, um, the, all the modes were the same, the main story, like, all the main, uh, multiplayer modes were the exact same, it was loot box, like, heaven and like stuff like that it was a complete shit show and ea and dice knew it so continuing the following years they promised to uh to improve and really really have the player in mind in in focus for the future of star wars battlefront 2. would ask yourself this question first is this good for the player 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 no so my loyal viewer you may be wondering you may be suggesting that star wars battlefront 2 2017 was was a great game i mean i, I mean they listened to all the fan feedback no 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 they, no, they did not. The game actually ended up having more micro transactions and loot boxes. Yeah, good job, guys. Yeah, yeah. Th this is great. Do, do you want more money? I can give you more money. As well as not only having one of the most generic stories I've ever seen with our strong female protagonist. Don't forget she's a strong female protagonist, as the game kept showing throughout the entire fucking story. Uh, because we couldn't forget that, you know, couldn't, couldn't forget that, you know, not like we've ever had strong females in video games before, but no, 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 I didn't, I didn't verse you, yeah, yeah, great, great character. Uh, yeah, our, our uh, strong female character sucked ass, and, uh, the, the, the story was dreadful, um, and it actually sparked so much debate, it nearly went to courts over sh whether loot boxes should be in games, and whether pay to win should be in games, because, People could pay 70 quid early access to the game and just have all the shit. It was so fucking unfair. It was the most infuriating shit you would ever see in your life. It's like it's like paying for like a pre-release of Call of Duty. Yeah? Imagine paying for a pre-release of Call of Duty, but you pay that 10 pound or that 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 20 pound extra to unlock every single thing in the fucking game and and have all the attachments for the guns and like and all the kill streaks and everything. It would be the most infuriating shit ever. No, no, Activision. A Activision, don't, don't do it. Don't, don't. So this leaves us here now. Star Wars Battlefront 2 ended up having um, uh, its budget cut and its updates completely cut in favour of uh, Battlefield 2042. I wonder how that went. Yeah, yeah, that wasn't that wasn't very good either, guys. I think I think Dice and EA wanted wanted more of my fucking money. So fans now are cooling. They are praying. They are heaving. For Battlefront 3, and I can agree with them. It's been such a long time since we've got Star Wars product. Oh, sorry, Jedi Fallen Order. To uh, other than Jedi Fallen Order, which is a fantastic game, as well as the sequel, I hear I haven't got around to playing it yet, but I cannot wait. I'm so hyped. Um, I, I'm trying to. I'm, I'm saving up a little bit at the minute. It's my. Uh, it's my birthday soon. And I've just got so many games I'm already playing. Um, I'm playing Mafia 2 now at the minute, so I've got a lot um, of games I'm trying to play and catch up on, um, and then hopefully I'll be giving reviews for newer games. Um, so yeah, but I cannot wait to play it. But anyway, there there is a lot of Star Wars games out there, but a Battlefront 3 now would be crucial, and here's why. Well, to start with, DICE and EA are already in the doghouse for Battlefield 2042, so coming out with a good Star Wars, or even announcing it, would be incredible for them. 
And here's what I think should be added. There should be a whole load of new maps for the clones, a massive focus on the clones, and a massive focus on how the game feels and played. For example, your heavy units and different units should feel different to other units. Star Wars Battlefront 2 had a massive problem where all of the guns were pretty much the same. They were all overheated guns. You could never automatically over. Um, you could never automatically reload. They were all overheated guns. Uh, it just felt very lazy. There was also never any rocket launchers or explosives. Really, it was all so grounded and boring. Heroes was another massive problem. They were all so unbalanced. And plus, none of them were ever really added. I mean, what about Mace Windu and Young Palpatine and and all of these people who we never got to see? That that should have been more. We needed more, and we need. And I'm calling this right now, we need to bring back ship-to-ship -ship battles. Full-scale, huge ship-to-ship -ship battles. I'm talking 40v40. Get this, Stop all of this shit about 100v100 or, uh, you know, 50, 100, uh, or 90v90. Stop all of that, okay? 40v40 to 50v50 is fine. It's absolutely fine. That's fine. That's a fine player count. We saw what happened with Battlefield 2042. The maps are great. They're huge. And they're also so fucking boring and bland and massive because it takes 10 years to get to someone. Don't do it. We need bigger maps, but a condensed player base. That's what we need. Um, and we need massive ship battles. Huge ship battles. Great. We need to mix. Um, a massive problem with the newer Star Wars games is there's not a blend between, like, if you choose a vehicle, you're normally fighting other vehicles in the air. We should have, we should be able to do bombing runs along the ground and stuff like that. Also, have vehicles on maps. Stop all this credit stuff. Why, why do we have to pay credits to get vehicles? Both sides should have vehicles. It's, it's so annoying. Um, yeah, I think a Battlefront 3 would be amazing. I think it would be, it would do Star Wars great right now. Um, and also you could do a lot of stuff with Rebels and the First Order. I think there is a lot to be said and done with Battlefront 3. So guys, if you agree with what I think, uh, uh, smash the like button. No, I'm joking. Uh, yeah, but uh, a like would be appreciated. If you like the video, please let me know. This has sort of been a quickie video, a little bit all over the place. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, it's, it's May the 4th currently. I realise it's not going to be May the 4th when I get this out. Um, but uh, I, I hope you had a happy May, May the 4th day. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, that. Yeah, sorry. It's. Uh, I'm not five. I promise. Um, but yeah, I. Um, I. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Um, please leave a like and a subscribe if you feel like it. If you're at the, the end of this video, you might as well. You clearly liked it enough. Let's be real. Uh, or you just really hate my opinion. So either way, leave a comment down below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you all hopefully in the next one. Bye bye.